Okay. So now we go to the dipole dipole forces. So we did the dispersion forces. We come to the dipole dipole forces. Dispersion forces are the, the attractive forces between temporary dipoles, okay? <coughs> so they were, they were temporary dipoles. Fine. The dipole-dipole forces are between two permanent dipoles, correct? Now what is a dipole? Again the same thing. The, the same thing that we have already discussed that there is a separation plus maybe there is maybe there is a minus there is a plus this is minus q this is plus q the distance in physics is historically given as 2a there is a reason for it okay there is a reason for it because everything is measured from here so these distances they remain a otherwise if i had taken it as a those distances become a upon 2 and then it starts interfering, it's not interfered, right? it become, become, makes the calculations more complicated when you go ahead. So that's why we have taken it as 2A. So, so it is that. Now th that's a very fantastic thing to understand and when you will be studying the dipoles in your class 12, there will be a big trouble that you will be facing and you will be asking why? Why do you want me to study a dipole? What is the use of a dipole? Why will there be a dipole? Why will there be a dipole? Because, because Coulomb's law says you are saying there are two equal and opposite charges at very small distances, at very small distances and Coulomb's law says that opposites will attract, distance is less. Why aren't they getting attracted and merging into one another? The reason is the dipole, the whole concept of dipole has come in to teach you about atoms. Okay? There what happens? The negative charge is equally balanced by the positive charge. That's why equal and opposite. And whenever an atom comes under the influence of a field, they tend to go in opposite direction. So you know why they are, why they are not collapsing. Because they are under the influence of, they are under the influence of a field which is actually keeping them apart. That is the reason. Otherwise, it is a very, very, uh, uh, very, very chaotic thing to understand why should two charges, howsoever small, be standing quite near to each other and not get attracted towards each other. Why? Okay? The reason is this. Because if it is an atom, and, and there is some kind of movement of the charges, especially in the bonds or maybe some, some external force, then, then what happens? Then this kind of situation actually develops, okay? Actually develops. <clears throat> so, so dipole-dipole forces are the, they are the attractive forces between the permanent dipoles. They are the attractive forces between the permanent dipoles. Now how do I get a permanent dipole in chemistry? So let us say this is H and this is Cl. Mm -hmm. Now what happens, Cl, Cl is a bigger molecule but is highly electronegative. How do you know that both of the charges are same? Hmm? Both of the charges are equal in magnitude. Where? How do we know that? Where? Here? Here. That you will come to know. Now what happens, this exerts a pull on H. Mm -hmm. 
and what happens as, as a result of that the electron cloud of H ideally what should happen H should be in the position of one whole electron now what happens some part of this cloud so 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 this is a center this is another so so a majority portion of this cloud is actually pulled by by cl the whole is not pulled otherwise it will become an ionic bond okay it is not an ionic bond that much we know so some part say a fraction of the electron gets pulled pulled by whom this by by this so 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 this becomes this is my cl this is my h now suppose it pulls some some 20 percent of the cloud of electron so this will be deficient by 20 percent okay deficient by 20 percent so it will have only 0.8 so it will become it will become become say say some delta plus which which here is maybe 0.2 e here is 0.2 e now this is richer by only that much electron that that this is deficient in isn't it so if it has pulled 20 percent it is deficient by 20 percent then this is richer by 20 percent is it not so so let us try to understand this has one proton so one plus and and 20 percent of it is taken away so this this is actually 0.8 e now that 20 percent makes this 1.2 e and and so so it is it is more by 20 percent so it is more negative by that very amount does not mean that the charges are same why not why not if i have taken if i have taken 2 rupees from you and you had 5 and i had 5 i am higher from 5 by the same amount that you are lower from 5 so you are 3 i am 7 is it not but that after is more money than me right obviously obviously it has more cloud that's why it is more negative that's why this becomes more negative and this becomes positive yes from the neutral it goes up by the same amount by 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 which this has gone down mm -hmm. that so that's what but i'm uh, talking about the magnitude of the charges or no 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 See, it is a conservation of charge try to understand it had earlier got 17 protons and 17 electrons now it took took how much 0.2 from you so it became 17.2 electrons so what is the total charge you calculate that this is minus 0.8 plus po plus 1.0 this is this is plus 0.2 you have minus 17.2 plus 17 you have minus 0.2 so you have the same negative as 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 hydrogen had a had a positive isn't it if you have grabbed it from there where has it gone it has gone to you so you will become negative by the same amount I do not know why should you be confused even no otherwise who takes the charge what do you mean by that otherwise where will the charge go if it will go to CL and then CL will give it back. Okay, uh, I, have, I have taken your electron. I do not want it anymore. Then why will it take it in the first place? What do you mean? It is more electronegative. It exerts more pull. So once it has pulled, it is, it is, it is keeping it pulled with it. Why will it give it back? Out of kindness, sympathy, what? There is a pull that it exerts and these are electrostatic forces. It is not that okay, I, I had taken your electron, it was not mine, so please. It is not socialism. Hmm? What are you confused about? Tell me. Ho gaya, then why are you looking at me like that? Then how do we know that it ho gaya? So, 
So, so this is what happens. Now, uh, what I want to say is, it, it is not essential that it is always 0.2 or whatever. It may be different. So don't take it as as a as an exact calculation. This I did just to show you that if you have taken some charge from me and it is in your possession, then you will become negative by the same amount that I'll become positive. And that's why equal and opposite charges prevail here. So the charge always remains the same. Oh, has to. Where otherwise where will it go? Otherwise the whole HCl molecule will become charged. That's another chaos. It will become an ion. And then it will try to get neutral by attracting something else. It does not stay like that. No molecule does that. Otherwise it becomes a radical or, or, or it becomes an ion. It does not lose electrons. If it loses the electron it becomes a radical otherwise it becomes an ion. If one of the electrons goes, okay, so, 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 so that is a different thing and, and all these are very reactive and they suddenly will try to get neutralized. Okay, we understand that. So, so they are between the permanent dipoles that you have to understand that the dipoles are permanent. Correct? Now the moment there is this and even if there was say something that was HCl molecule which was like this, what will ultimately happen? Ultimately, the other HCl molecule will flip. Will flip and the positive will come here and the negative goes there. Okay, and the moment that happens, there will be a net attractive force between the two. Okay? Fine. So, so what are the characteristics? characteristics of dipole dipole forces number 1 it is between two permanent dipoles and since it is a van der Waal force it is attractive and by attractive we are not saying beautiful okay so it is attractive in nature Correct. What else? The interaction energy is 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 proportional to one upon R cube for for stationary dipoles, right? For stationary dipoles and as 1 by and as 1 by r to the power 6 for rotating dipoles. Okay. Where r is the distance between the polar molecules and the distances are taken from the middle of this to the middle of that. Always bear that in mind. Okay, so R is the distance between the dipoles and distance is taken from center to center of the dipole. Okay, measured from the center of one dipole to the center of another. Okay.
Now, in addition to the dipole-dipole interaction, it could also interact by, by the dispersion forces. So, suddenly the external thing that comes in that may temporarily distort it more and the cumulative effect is that the dipole-dipole forces become, become stronger than, than merely dipole-dipole forces, right. So, 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 so there could be um, or I will say dipole dipole forces interact by dispersion forces as well dispersion or London forces as well forces as well and hence as well due to some transient phenomena. So, so that transient phenomena gets superimposed on that. Okay? So, so due to the superimposition of both the forces, the cumulative effect is that okay so due to the due to superimposition of of the two forces the intermolecular attraction attractions increase correct it goes up fine 